Hi guys, today I thought while I was in front of the camera I'd film an empties video, so I'm just going to jump straight into it. I have a lot of Lush, Lush, Lush products in here, the packaging for them, but I'm going to show you the packaging even though I haven't used them because I've got them all over behind me, like I've got my bath bombs, and then down here, I don't know if you can see it, that's where all my bubble bars are, and they're just soaked from the echo, but that's like my smelly bath area. Oh, look at those arms. Anyway, so I'm just going to jump straight into it. The first one is, of course, another repurchase of the Blackberry Bath Ballistic. Um, which we all know I love. The Honey Bee Bath Ballistic. Upside down. The, the Comforter Bubble Bath. I haven't used the Honey Bee, the Comforter Bubble Bar is probably a fifth or sixth repurchase. Next is Sex Bomb Bath Ballistic. I have brought this one before and I do love that one. Um, Avo Bath Ballistic. I have brought this before. I don't remember being a fan of it, but when I smelt it in Lush, I loved the smell of it again, so I just brought it. Um, love Oh, the Love Locker. This is a limited edition Valentine's Day bath bomb. Oh my god, it's huge. It takes up like the whole top there, that pink one that you can see. The Dragon's Egg Bath Ballistic. That is so cool. It smells awesome and it's like multicolored. Focus. Whatever. I think it focused. Next is the Dorothy Bubble Bar. I absolutely love this bubble bar. It's like $5.95. I think it's like one of their cheapest bubble bars and it feels amazing and I get four baths out of it. The Creamy Candy Bubble Bar. I haven't tried that one yet. And the Karma Bubble Bar. It's cut off, but look how... The Karma Bubble Bar. I haven't tried that one yet either. The last one is the Amandon or whatever. It's like seriously, ridiculously long. I'm not even going to be able to show you because the way it was taped down is like ridiculous. That one. I don't know what it's called. And it, so that's all the Lush products. Next is the Lacura Face Caring Face Wipes. You know what I use these for. I've said it in a hundred videos before. Cleaning my hands, cleaning makeup palettes, all that sort of stuff. Next is the Herb Fudge Urban Iced Raspberry Vanilla Hairspray. Love this hairspray. Got a bunch of other hairsprays that I want to get through though before I repurchase it. But I do think that will be another repurchase. I really do. Next is a... MAC Cleanse Off Oil, absolutely love this stuff, This I've now brought my second one and this is like a holy grail product for me, I don't know how I got my makeup off before I used this stuff. Next is another of the La Roche Posay Eclair Foaming Gel Cleanser Face Wash, absolutely love this stuff, I think this is my fourth or fifth, I've already repurchased that one. Next is a Carmex Lip Balm, love that. I've just been using cheap lip balms and losing them, so I haven't got a lot of lip balms in this one. Next, I depotted a whole bunch of lipsticks into a lipstick palette. I should get the palette, shouldn't I? I'll show you. Two seconds. So this is the palette that I depotted the lipsticks into. I really want to get more. I think it's so handy being able to look at them like that. Instead of seeing all this and not knowing what colour it is, it's all there and I have marked on the back what they are and I want to do that a bit neater so I'm just going to quickly go through them the Kate Moss ones I'll do first so number 20 number 16 number 5 and number 3 the matte 113 and 106 in the red tubing 04 and 10 and that's all the Rema ones and then I've got the Lychee Crush by Face of Australia um, Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick Matte 01, um, Revlon Color Burst in 06 and 70. So they're all the lipsticks I depotted. 
I also go through phases where I buy heaps of uh, perfumes and then I'll just use them all up. Do you know what I mean? Because I'll swap and I'll change and blah, blah, blah. And then I'll be like, no, got too many perfumes. And I'll go through a phase and I'll just use them all up. So I literally have a bunch of perfumes in here. So I'll just get rid of this one first because a client gave it to me. I don't know what it is. It's this one. And yeah, a client gave that to me. I, I didn't really like the smell of it. So I just used it to freshen up the bed. The next one is a Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey Lollipops, I think it's called. That one. Um, the Pure Seduction by Victoria's Secret. I absolutely love this. I was going to pick up more when I was at the airport last week, but didn't. The Elizabeth Arden Green Tea Scented Spray. Love the smell of that. It's only cheap as well. Just a little sam gift sample size for Saatchi, which I did like the smell of. The Kylie Minogue Music Box. I liked that one, and see, I put perfume on at night. Sorry, I was thinking I should explain it to you. Um, I've liked all those perfumes. See, ones like this, I put on at night time. Just the cheaper ones, because I'm weird, and I have to put perfume on when I get out of the shower. I put ones like this on, so they're just cheaper. I think this was like $9, and this was $20. Next is my Lady Gaga. Don't know what it's called, but we all know the bottle. That one, really liked that one. I don't know why I'm saying really liked them because obviously I smell them before I buy them. Next are my last two and my favourites. My Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture. Absolutely loved that perfume. I really want to get the Just by Just Cavalli. Like, I'm addicted to it. So that's what made me go, okay, well, I'm not allowed to pay that much for a perfume until I've used up all the perfumes I've got. So absolutely loved that one. And last one, which is a sad one, is Lady Million. <coughs> My husband brought this for me when it first came out. He paid like $150 for it. And I've just used it all up. Had it for a couple of years and I thought, you know, because I was only wearing it on like special occasions and stuff. And I thought, it's going to go yuck. Like, I just have to use it. So I've used it all up. So that's a sad one. But that's my baby. So that is all my... Um, empties this month. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, give me a thumbs up. Leave any comments or questions below. If I can reply to your questions, I will reply to them, but I'm having lots of trouble with that. Um, leave your comments because I love reading them and give me a thumbs up if you want me to keep making them like I've explained in previous videos. I just feel so bad that I can't reply to comments, which has kind of put me off of filming because I think it's rude when people don't reply. So, yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.